Okay, so start. Okay, uh, good morning to all. Uh, on behalf of the Department of Chemistry and Forensic Science, Dr. Kavi Inasameta University, myself, uh, Dr. Naval Kapuria, would like to welcome all the dignitaries, researchers, and students present in this webinar. Before we proceed further, just I would like to brief about our department. It was established uh, in the year 2018 under the leadership of founder Vice Chancellor, <coughs> Professor J.P. Mayani. The department offers a master's degree in chemistry, specialization on organic and analytical chemistry. Under the able guidance of uh, present Vice Chancellor, Professor Dr. Chetan Trivedi, sir, our visionary head of the department, Professor H. Bapudra, sir, honest and hardworking faculty member, Dr. Muna Lambasna, Dr. Jasmine Bhaloria, Dr. Rashmi Ben Patel, these all have contributed so that our department has started to recognize as premier department to study chemistry in the Saurashtra region. With great support from present uh, Vice Chancellor and uh, Registrar Dr. Mayan Swani, sir, member of Executive Council and Board of Governance of the University, our department has slowly started to build up an analytical facility by the procurement of various sophisticated analytical instruments and uh, uh, so far, uh, we already procured uh, UV visible and IR and other uh, uh, sophisticated instruments are under the pipeline. Besides this, uh, we are also providing job and skill oriented syllabus, uh, research exposure to the students and sufficient lab training so that they can be placed well. Our students are also taking online and self-learning courses during the master degree program, specially offered by the NPTEL and other Coursera, et cetera. And several of our students have successfully completed these courses. <clears throat> I'm happy to say that to promote self-learning of a university is going to give them extra credit for these certificate courses, and which will be reflected in their mark sheet. Friends, I'm also very happy to say that during the rigorous uh, campus placement trial, <laughs> more than 80% job seeker from the our first batch students, they have been placed in various multinational companies like Oxygen Healthcare, Disman Pharma, Essential Laboratories, etc., and with their handy salary packages. Furthermore, for the benefit of the student and welfare of the students, in the last two years, the department has done so many uh, extracurricular activities. We have organized uh, three national seminars and one international expert talk, where we have invited experts from the United States also. So as a, as a result of this constant encouragement in the, into the students, many of our students have participated in national international seminars across the state and other region. And so many students received either first or second prizes as the oral or post presentations. So all in one, I can say that our approach is towards the holistic development of the students, providing them edge in this competitive world. Now, uh, coming back to the today's webinar, we all know that COVID-19 has been declared as a public health emergency by WHO since January 2020. We know that worldwide in just three months, more than three lakh people have lost their lives. And also the world economy is scattered right now. And unfortunately, we do not have any proper remedies in our hand. So the entire world is looking towards researchers or scientists the discovery of vaccine or drug against this COVID-19. Although we know that the chloroquine and uh, remdesivir provided a little relief and hope, but the best is yet to come. So in this context, uh, we thought and plan to organize a webinar that uh, how a role of the academia is important in this 
the discovery process. And by that way, we can provide a platform and we can gain a knowledge about this subject pattern. And we are fortunate that we have a great personality with us who can not only justify this subject matter with his vast academic and research experience, but he can also give us a new idea during this period or during this matter of concern. I would request our head of the department, Professor H. Babudra, sir, to introduce today's eminent speaker, Professor H. Babudra. Good morning, all. It is a matter of pride and pleasure for me to welcome the visionary and dynamic vice chancellor of our university and patron of today's national webinar, Professor Dr. Chetan Trivedi. He is a man of work, always believe in teamwork and inspires each faculty to take responsibility and work hard for the betterment of students and university by motivating, be, think beyond the limit. He, this is the, his logo, he says to everybody. During his, his one year tenure, he led from the front and took several initiatives by like commencement of short-term skill-based diploma and certificate courses, which is the need of the current era. Launched mobile application, to bring student, faculty, college, and university on one platform. He initiated several examination reforms like e-papers, CCTV monitoring of all the exam centers. He is also actively monitoring the construction and establishment of various departments and administrative buildings at new campus of the university. In the COVID-19 crisis due to lockdown, he took new initiative and directed to arrange board of study meetings for more than 30 subjects online, so syllabus can be updated within time. Trishti Vadu Vishayana, Board of Study ni online meeting na Ayujan Karwani, Pel Karnar, Kadat Bharatnya Pratham University Ase, Enumanek, Garvache. So I warmly welcome him and appreciate his presence in this national webinar. Moving further, I feel great privilege while introducing the eminent speaker of today's national webinar, Honorable. Vice Chancellor of Gujarat Vidya Peet, Professor Dr. Anamik Sa. Professor Sa is currently working as a Vice Chancellor of Gujarat Vidya Peet Ahmedabad, founded by Mahatma Gandhi in 1920. Formerly, Professor Sa has served as Professor of Chemistry for more than 33 years at Saurashtra University Rajkot. I am very much glad to say that I am also the student of this university and of Dr. Anamik Sa. He has guided 60 PhD students and currently eight PhD students scholars are working under his guidance. Under his able guidance and supervision, research scholars have received more than 35 prestigious overseas fellowships like Marie Curie, Herbert, European Union, Eramas Mundas, Taiwan, BMS scholarship, also scholarships from USA, Germany, UK, and has sent students for pre-doctoral, post-doctoral, and doctoral work. Looking at Professor, Professor Sa's research contribution, he has worked as principal instigator in number of projects founded by NIH USA, DST, DBT, UGC, CSIR, worth rupees 25 crores. Sir and his research group has published more than 215 international and national publications in peer reviewed journals with citation exceeding 2000. He has, he has contributed well in the field of research by delivering more than 80 invited talks in national and international conferences. Professor Sa and his research group has successfully completed several professional pharma projects with well-known firms like Alembic, AstraZeneca, USA, Claris Life Sciences, Pyramal Life Sciences, and Daba Research Foundation. He has established national facility for drug design Shortly, NFDD Center, Saurashtra University, Rajkot, worth rupees 25 crores, funded by government of India and government of Gujarat.
Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, should I start? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. The vice Chancellor is to speak. Hello. He will. He will. Hello. Uh, yes, sir. He, he will speak after you. Okay. Okay. Fine. So I, I have to just start, right? Yes. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor and uh, my very good friend, Sri Chetanbhai Trivedi, uh, Departmental Head, uh, Dr. Bapotra, Dr. Kapuria, Dr. Ambasna, and many other faculty members, uh, faculties from uh, different uh, universities of uh, Gujarat State and uh, uh, rest of India, research scholars from all over state, uh, master uh, degree students from uh, different universities, uh, I welcome all to this uh, webinar, which is arranged by the very nascent, but very prominent university, which is established at a very prominent place. Being a vice chancellor of Gujarat Vidya Pit, founded by Mahatma Gandhi, and Mahatma Gandhi was inspired by Narsi Mehta. Huh? And uh, in today's condition, we know that Vaishnav Janto Tenere Kaye Je Peed Parai Jane Re. We have lots of migrants whose agony, apathy, and whose sufferings is pinching us to our heart all the time. And that is due to a health epidemic. Over and above that, Junagadh has a great history and tradition and very famous poet Rajendra Shukla has written in his entire poem on Junagadh, but I will recite only last two lines uh, of Rajendra Shukla Samayna koi pan stare hu mari sach, junagat tane har jare jakhare hu mari sach. So starting from Samrat Ashok and his scriptures on stone, which is lying at the, uh, at the uh, doorstep of Mount Ginnar, very pious place. Junagat has a very rich tradition of environment, health, scriptures of Ashok depicts what people should do and what they should not do, what the old age people can be treated by the state and by the people and how the patients should be treated by the medicinal plant. So this is a very important place and I, always love Junagar and therefore I am very happy that uh, the, with the invitation sent to me by Honorable Vice Chancellor. Uh, friends, today I am going to talk a little bit differently and I want to put you in the world of chemistry as well as a part of medicinal chemistry and what will be the our role of uh, universities and as an academic and academic researchers. Before I will speak anything on this, let me give a rich tribute to Dr. Mansukhbhai Vani, whose name may not be known to many of our uh, young uh, attendees of today's uh, webinar. Dr. Mansukh Wani belonged to Gujarat. He migrated before 100 years. His family migrated 
to the Maharashtrian city, Nandarbar. And from Nandarbar, he studied in Mumbai. And from Mumbai, after graduation, he migrated to a wonderful place in North Carolina, which is known as Research Triangle. The place where drug research companies and universities were working together to get new drug by way of uh, a, a collaborative efforts by chemists, biologists, natural product chemists, and many others. Uh, friends, during these Corona days, Dr. Mansukwani has just died at the old age home at the age of 95. But to your knowledge, let us give a rich tribute to this great scientist uh, who has taken birth on the Indian soil. And during his lifetime, please understand, during his lifetime, he has given two wonderful natural product, very complex molecule drug, its isolation, its total synthesis, its derivatization, its modification, and these two drugs are known in the world as campothecin as well as texol. Campothecin and texol both are natural product. And if Dr. Mansukwani was not there in research triangle, these two natural product drugs may have not seen daylight and not saved the life of millions and millions of cancer pet patients of different variety of cancers. So let us give a rich tribute to this uh, famous person because today, now we know the importance of what is it what what it means to have a new drug discovery and how new drug discovery is particularly required in, in the epidemic of this. So I will start my uh, talk to take you to the chemical universe. Friends, we are counting our population. But if I want to count the number of chemical compounds, especially which is registered just like our Aadhaar card, which is known as chemical abstract registry number. You will be surprised to know that total 120 million compounds, inorganic compound, organic compound, natural product compound, complex uh, uh, compounds, single entity, they are basically in the number of 120 million compounds who had been given their Aadhaar card by way of chemical abstract registry number. Now, the question comes to all of you. Just think of whether this 120 million compound can be a drug or it cannot. Naturally, our answer is that 120 million compound cannot be the drug. Then we have to identify and define what is a drug. So the definition comes, a drug is a compound which is giving the physiological response or pharmacological response and by, of, by way of several mechanisms in the body when it enters into the body by a different way, by oral, by injectable, by muscular way, or by uh, topical, means on skin preparation, it exerts some profound effect on our body. Sometimes there is drugs which are used for uh, uh, prophylactic dose. There are certain drugs which are chemotherapeutic drugs which kill virus, bacteria, and any uh, worms which are coming in our body. Now we are coming to the, the age of chemistry. 
and how the age of chemistry begins. We know that chemistry started from the na natural product and identification of natural product, plant products, the different part of plant products, either it is a leaf, it is a root, or it is a flower, or it is in any different form. These drugs, uh, these were utilized in our Ayurveda, in natural product, in Roman Empire, many inorganic salts, which are coming from the soil, they were also utilized for different purposes. So the medicinal plant and its use as a drug, it is 3000 and more than 3000 years story. To cut short, we can come to the last 300 years. And again, we can come to last 100 years. So we know that there are number of elements which we have put as a periodic table. And most important is carbon because carbon connects with another carbon. And this gives us enormous variety of organic molecules, in order, uh, organic molecules, alicyclic molecules, uh, aromatic molecules, uh, fused molecules, diversified molecules. Now this molecule is I have given number to 120 million, but drug likeness is not in all molecules. So before few years, when I was writing a book on medicinal chemistry, I came to know that currently in last century, 25 years and current 20 years, there are not more than 35,000 molecules which have been identified out of millions of molecules as a drug-like molecules. So we can say that more than 35 molecules are future drugs and these future drugs, when it passes through a variety of battery of testing, then it will come out as a drug. So out of million compound, by screening, by way of screening, the compound will later on come to 25, 25 to 5, 5 to 1 molecule, which we can consider as a lead molecule and the lead molecule will be considered as a investigational new drug molecule. So this is our entire system and I'm not going to discuss this, but you can, uh, 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 you can uh, data mine the process of drug discovery and what was earlier and what was today. Now, in today's condition, it is not the random selection of the molecules. You take any molecule and start testing. And we know that currently the testing has become problem, problem in Corona. So we have to, with the limited resources in scientific manpower also, for drug discovery also, the same rule applies that don't go for the screening of entire uh, library of compounds. You have to be very selective. You have to see the drug likeness. You have to, you have set rules which will lead to the drug discovery. And this is how from 30,000 molecules in the pharmacopoeia, today there are not more than 3,500 molecules. These 3,500 molecules are used in variety of diseases it is used in tuberculosis, it is used in cancer, it is used in uh, uh, many other uh, 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 bacterial diseases, antiviral diseases, and we know that HIV virus, which was identified a few years back, then Ebola came, then another virus came, and we are looking at newer and newer molecules with this. But these small pieces are smarter than us, and therefore it makes more difficult to discover these molecules for the uh, 
their uh, drug uh, discovery pattern so from natural product we have come to the single synthetic molecules and which are approximately 3500 in current armamentarium of the various pharmacopoeia so these are the molecules which are many of them are natural product inspired molecules because from pethidine from uh, camphor to pethidine the complex molecule we have made the most simplest molecule we have removed several parameters and which can reduce the toxicity which can reduce uh, uh, what we uh, call it uh, other unwanted parameters in the drug molecule and yet the small molecule should retain the power of that original molecule so many of the drugs i can say that more than 60% drugs currently which is used are natural product inspired molecules so this is what i just wanted to uh, inform you about that now we are coming to another important aspect that uh, what is the current position of india and what is the current position of patents if you go to the patent search world patent documents and indian patent documents very there a very dismal picture we have lakhs of patent millions of patents on pharmaceutical products how the process is made how application is made and how it can be delivered to the patient so a new area which is known as drug delivery system has also arrived during this period and therefore uh, the entire thing we have to look at the intellectual property right because from 1971 to 1995 we are not in wto we are not in the world map and our indian parliament parliament during time of indira gandhi has uh, passed a resolution that anything which is related to human and animal health we will not abide by the rules of the world whatever patents are available in the world we will utilize it we will start manufacturing to survive our people our animal our agriculture sector and therefore all indian companies which has grown from small company to the very large company you name any mole, any any companies which are now today considered as a uh, national and multinational indian brand they had this advantage to grow by themselves by defying the patents of the rest of the world but that was not the right approach it has a tremendous effect on innovativeness of the indian scientist so we were very good in cut copy and paste and manufacture and during this experience the most important benefit we obtain is that we have become almost self reliant in our drug formulation and to some extent active pharmaceutical ingredient but currently we are knowing that the 80% of our requirement of active pharmaceutical ingredient it is basically coming from china the key intermediates are coming from china the key chemicals are coming from china and that is a very very big challenge to the indian scientist indian scientific community policy makers of government of india and policy makers of our academics and research particularly industry related research institutes and therefore the role of academic institutes as on today it is a very very important uh, let me tell you that 
currently what is the position of indian companies and what is the position of indian companies in the drug discovery as far as my knowledge is concerned central drug research institute lucknow was able to start saint croman drug which was fully 100% discovered by the indian scientist similarly the company jaidas pharmaceutical it has come out with the totally drug discovery from a to z and up to the market sara glitazar it was a discovery of jaidas uh, which is based at amdavad so bearing this too we have earlier few drugs which were discovered by the siba gaigi research center but it was a multinational company and they have come out but from indian continent and from indian scientists in india very few have made the cheapest and affordable active pharmaceutical ingredients but we are to some extent we are losers in the drug discovery process a report of a international consultant defending every two years he is investigating the indian capacity and strength for the drug discovery and his several report suggests that the india has immense capacity to go for drug discovery but when the drug discovery steps from pre clinical to phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 phase 4 comes it is a very complex and very expensive area where our research institutes our government our pharma companies uh, they are not able to go to the final stage of the drug discovery and it is a long chain of 8 to 12 20 years it needs a continuous teamwork collaborative work consortium approach and the intellectual acumen to deliver goods in the drug discovery area so currently as far as indian companies are concerned indian scientists are concerned our role is limited and we have to understand this very specifically because all you are very young guys and therefore you should know that what are the challenges before us and how we can overcome these challenges you just consider the drug discovery as a long chain of uh, 60 to 75 train compartments currently in the 75 compartment of train we are not in the driving seat and we are not also in the uh, seat of the station master which is the last compartment the indian companies indian researchers their positioning is compartment number 5 compartment number 20 compartment number 40 so we are doing very good intellectual labor a drug which is coming with the 50 chemical structure 50 steps of chemical synthesis our marvelous chemistry our experienced scientist they were able to make it into 25 steps or 20 steps and the, by reducing the step reducing the cost and manufacturing time they are doing excellent job but the train is of 75 bogies and we have isolated bogies which are not connected as a total chain when in india we will able to have a driving seat as well as the guards bogie and the all compartments in between and this compartment what are these compartments isolation of molecules finding out the structure and constitution of the molecules identifying the biology of this and this single natural product or synthetic compound where it is used what is the preclinical 
what is the admet admet means absorption distribution excretion and lastly toxicity so a drug whether it is a potent whether it is a toxic whether it is a uh, 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 highly uh, uh, very high efficacy and its uh, shelf life period in the uh, uh, in the in the environment at what temperature the shelf life period so these all things are very important when this train we will complete the india will have a discovery process to be completed and we can also boast of delivering goods in the drug but till then what we have to do what should be our strategy and what should how we have to go about those who are interested in the drug discovery process the first thing is learning the books the internet the electronic resources there is no dearth of these things and anybody who is interested in this can learn at home with the able teachers guidance and they can study and self study everybody of us have to become what we call it as a eklavya in our room in uh, garden in every place keeping our mobile active not for whatsapp university but keeping our mobile live to get the world knowledge which is coming in your palm with a small mobile or your internet facility so this is what the first task is to understand properly where we stand and where we are actually uh, positioning ourselves the second important part is let me tell you all researchers who are located at different place and hearing my voice let me tell you that in saurashtra university rajkot when we didn't have any facility and we have only large hands we have more hands and men power and simple laboratory flask a uh, condenser little supply of water that was also intermittent and few chemicals on bench we were thinking of diversification of molecules we didn't have a parallel synthesizer of 15 lakhs or 20 lakhs but our 10 students had a uh, had a zeal to develop new molecules with simple molecules with available chemicals generating the library and this library we were negotiating with the multinational companies and nego and national companies and we have earned a lot of money out of that uh, dr bapodra was in this process during that time and we were earning in dollars and we built laboratories by the efforts of students and teachers under the leadership of dr ar parik at that time and then we came for the actual research on behalf of indian companies whether it is dabal whether it is alembic whether it is uh, renbaxi or whether it is a company like extra geneca the molecules which we were preparing it was used for tuberculosis screening anti cancer screening it was used for anti microbial screening and some cases like clarice life sciences we were able to give them processes very cheap environment friendly benign processes against the imported china product which was sold at the 5000 rupees per kg we have given clarice life sciences the process which is only 15000 ru 1500 rupees per kg you can just see that what is the different 3500 rupees saving to the indian company by developing the alternate process environment friendly process by our group and that was a very big achievement which was done at sauras university so the second point which i want to stress is that you don't feel that in your laboratory 
in your institute you are at the most remote place of india and you don't have good laboratory don't afraid uh, don't stop your work you think innovatively what we can do when we have no heating mantles we have developed in the from the nest cafe tins and prepare heating mantles by ourselves by the cost of 100 rupees you can use microwave home home appliances you can do uv based reactions at your laboratory and develop small molecules also so many things can happen in the drug discovery process but i just want to say the another important word and that is that the facility which is not available at your doorstep or at your laboratory or your institute you write a word in your diary that the rest of the facility in india and of the world is ours this rule we have followed for almost 10 years when saurash university had no facility of instrumentation but we collaborate we have written several letters in india and abroad those who are ready to collaborate with us can do lots of work with us and let me tell you that without before creating the facility of several hundred crores the research papers which we have published with the collaboration of the indian science science scientist indian laboratories scientists abroad and universities abroad they were far far more superior than we have at the instrument labs when it was established the quality was better and the students were more prone to identify the resources they were struggling very much from where my testing will be done from where my analysis will be done and we have identified people and sources and we have published joint papers so drug discovery a uh, paradigm can be continued which we can say that by the concerted c o n s e r t e d concerted manner and consortium manner you build up a consortium for example in junagadh you have a agriculture university very good research center very good biochemistry you have a natural product people you have a forestry you have several other things why not the immunological products can come out from the junagadh university it is very much possible with you with all facilities in the neighboring only you have to connect collaborate make a consortium and give credit to all recently one of the research paper you will be surprised to know that there were more than 85 authors and the paper was published in nature as well as in the journal of american chemical society so how many people have collaborated more than 75 in india the indians are highly individualistic we are not able to give credit to our neighboring people and we think that why the other name should appear in our research paper so i think that we have to learn a lot by collaborating and partnering with uh, many uh, many people and that is what my i just wanted to uh, put the strength on this few important uh, aspect of the uh, innovative drug discovery system uh, i will cite you a very important example of a professor whose name is ram mohan and <coughs> he is from usa he was in a undergraduate college and you know that in united states system the real choice based system is working and this real choice based system is working and therefore somebody from arts faculty came to ram mohan and they say he said that yes, sir i want to learn chemistry now a person not knowing the chemical structure not knowing the symbol 
what he has to do in the chemistry lab. So Ramon thought for a while, and then he said that, OK, I will give you a small project. Uh, friends, what was that small project, you know? It was a project of creating a chromatographic column, use turmeric for the isolation of the most active ingredient, which has a high pharmaceutical value. And uh, uh, therefore, the uh, turmeric was taken the isolation of curcumin was carried out with several experiment on chromatographic column, which requires no money, practically. Ultimately, the professors, under professor's guidance, a art student was able to <coughs> isolate 99.9% .9 pure turmeric uh, curcumin. When they analyzed, it was 99.9% .9 pure. Now the interesting story is that the experiment was published that practical isolation of curcumin from turmeric by the simple chromatographic method and preparation of method. The paper was published in Journal of Chemical Education and it was a small paper. But during the lifetime of the professor, this was the highest cited paper. But the story is not stopped there. After eight years, the professor was approached by the Aldrich Chemical Company. And Aldrich Chemical Company asked them that we are getting the curcumin so far not more than 95% pure. Can you provide 99.9% .9 pure? And what you will charge for? The professor called the art student that can you repeat this experiment? We have a order. And they caught 20 times, 25 times more to the average that we'll be able to provide this curcumin, 99.9%. The college and the department received several hundred dollars by a simple experiment of the art student. So you can just imagine that a medicinal product, curcumin, which is very much required in uh, new drug discovery, was developed within a short time. So such type of projects we can also take up with the different medicinal plants and many other things. The another important aspect, as far as COVID-19 is concerned, we know that at several places, at Ayush, at different places, we are developing several immunomodulator uh, boiled medicinal plant extract, and we call it at Ukara. And we are giving to people so that their immunity is increasing. But the science comes now. If we are able to take up the formulation of all the Ukara, utilize it in our analytical instrument, and identify <clears throat> that what are the active pharmaceutical ingredients which are involved in that, and what is the medicinal value of each of them, then I think that we can discover more potent more, more efficacy-oriented uh, uh, new formulations from the same idea which we are using from our age-old Ayurveda. We can substitute different uh, plant constituents and make it more amenable by giving better immunomodular activity to this Ukara. And one more important thing is that if any of us is identifying that there are certain uh, uh, certain alkaloid or certain chemicals or certain carbohydrates which are basically not for the diabetic patient, which are not good for the heart patient, which are not good for other patients, then this 
this supply can be restricted to such type of uh, such type of uh, patients and uh, citizens and we can identify our own standard S sops that to whom it is given and to whom it is not given but then you have to go for data mining data resourcing and from data mining and data resources we are able to do so many things and we can identify the each component and what is the potency and what is the negative point what is the toxicity of this thing so there are so many ideas even in current uh, uh, days the alternate environment friendly processes of the molecules these are these are also very very important and therefore if we are able to identify certain enzyme or certain plant product which can be used as a catalytic activity and develop the unit process for some portion of existing drug or drug processes then also i think that we are going for the safe reliant mode and developing our indigenous processes countering the patent of the international companies and develop our in house technologies for manufacturing of many drugs by diversified ways by device catalyst co catalyst and by differentiating many things the last point i just want to uh, what is the time frame uh, bapodra ji just you tell me the time 5 minutes yeah yes sir yes sir you can yes sir you can have sir 5 minutes okay now the uh, last important point is that let me i have given you a view that how we can go for the drug discovery uh, pipeline and where we stand and how we can collaborate my humble request is that the chemist should collaborate with the microbiologist chemist should collaborate with biochemistry people of uh, neighboring uh, department and uh, have a tea together have a discussion together come out with the research project submit to the funding agencies and i think that today icmr ayush department of uh, uh, scientific and industrial research uh, csir all need good research project for covid 19 as well as for other uh, indigenous discovery projects and this can be very well done with the surrounding which agriculture university surrounding uh, uh, forensic universities instruments uh, facilities and your own and uh, neighbor neighboring colleges like baudin college anamik bhai tamar i think your microphone is mute yes yes okay okay hello ha okay hello yes sir can you hear me yes yes sir yes ah so so last important point everybody will be interested what is the position of covid 19 research and molecules and what is the current status then yesterday night i was just searching about the molecules and research papers which had come out after covid 19 you you people can guess you people can guess any number of compound uh, and not only compound but you can also think of how many papers may have published during this period uh, the uh, people who are hearing this uh, webinar you will be surprised to know that the massachusetts institute of technology has a common platform 
and more than 24000 research papers have been generated by the chemo informatic people bioinformatic people by molecular scientists by the clinical scientists by the chemistry people <coughs> and <coughs> this two uh, 24000 papers are leading to somewhat what we looking for the real drug for the covid treatment so you can just just see the number of scientists involved in this 24000 research paper world over how many laboratories day and night how many scientists chemists biochemists bioinformatics chemoinformatics uh, molecular modeler clinical scientist actual drugs are going on the last point which i was discussing i should uh, put a another important point is that you may have heard, hearing the word that there are certain drug like for example hydroxychloroquine now hydroxychloroquine was very age old drug it was used for other purpose it was used for malaria but currently we are using it so when you put in google a very simple word repurposing of drug you will learn a lot for example fevipavir a drug which is japanese drug and currently several companies including a rajput company is towards the manufacturing process of this the fevipavir was used for antiviral drug and it is for the flu but now the entire pharmaceutical world of india is looking and there is a clinical trial which is also going on which will complete within few weeks and so it is known as a repurposing of the drug similarly remdesivir is also a repurpose of the drug so currently csir council of scientific and industrial research has identified by its expert and tax for committee that how many old drugs which i have told you 3500 out of 3500 how many drug structure as appropriate for covid 19 so let me inform you that there are 25 molecules of old active pharmaceutical ingredient which are now identified by csir for repurposing for the covid because everybody wants covid to come in a very very fast manner similarly there are more than uh, 3 dozen to 4 dozen completely working on the vaccine and this vaccine is not only one type everybody looking at the vaccine mechanism of different kind and there are seven to eight different mechanisms in the literature by which the vaccine can work and it can it can penetrate to deactivate the uh, virus uh, friends uh, what an academic institute can do several of my students had gone to belgium a university which is known as catholic university in catholic university there was a scientist who is now retired and his uh, lab is also not working very well because i have just inquired and his name was professor eric d clark eric d clark has developed a largest consortium in the world why i am calling it as a large uh, consortium of the world because at one point of time he was connected with 250 institutes and he was connected with 1250 scientists of the world chemists of the world so he was getting molecules from diversified different drug like molecules from all these laboratories and testing them <coughs> in his antiviral laboratory and out of that there are four to five molecules which were developed by eric d clark and whatever royalty he is getting due to, due to his patent and discovery of these drugs the 40 to 50 percent income of this university is only on basis of the royalty, which was uh, 
every year obtained by the patent which was licensed to the pharma companies by professor eric dickler though he has retired so this is the contribution of a academic professor and i hope that this capacity is lying in all of us wherever we are and with proper connectivity concerted approach and concerted approach we can also take part in the drug discovery process at the end let me tell you that in entire world there are several scientists who are philanthropics who want to contribute to the society but they have no facility in their institute or their institutes <coughs> their institutes uh, mandate is not for drug discovery there are certain common platform which is known as open source drug discovery and these open source drug discovery platforms are across india and and there are several in the abroad for example drug for neglected diseases initiative dndi if you go to the dndi website they are not taking 10 years time they are repurposing drug for the small group of uh, people for for whom no pharmaceutical company will give any product but they are doing it they are repurposing it they are making a team worldwide scientist and give them the entire train compartment that you have to work on compartment 2 you have to work on compartment 5 you have to work on compartment 40 and like that making a channel of open source drug discovery by intelligence and intellectual inputs and laboratory input by scientists of the world and they are going for the fast track drug discovery any of you can also join in such efforts which are worldwide and there is no commercial uh, importance and uh, com uh, and commercial consideration of that the consideration is that the in the uh, uh, in the universe the humanity is first and second is health so if we want to promote the health we have to put all human efforts to give a right kind of drug to the person the last person in the line and last person in the country so this is how the uh, scientists can contribute in health sector in a very different manner when we are academics we are researchers or we are postgraduate students i think that the message which i have given is uh, uh, well taken by our uh, younger generation and uh, in future you will assemble in different groups for doing different kind of research different kind of projects and having built confidence in yourself that we can do it we can uh, make it we can collaborate and we can reach at least to some steps in the drug discovery and then the uh, uh, lighted lamp will be taken by the next generation as i am seeing my young people who are uh, on the screen and many i have seen when they were uh, uh, they are joining the meeting so at the end i congratulate for this uh, uh, entire uh, webinar giving me opportunity to give full length uh, 45 50 minutes lecture which i used to give three four lectures at a time in saurash university it reminds me my old days and uh, i am very happy to share this chetan bhai thank you very much for this initiative and congratulations to thank you sir uh, for this wonderful uh, elaborative lecture and guidance to all the uh, uh, participant who joined this webinar uh there are so many questions coming from the uh, panels uh yeah. i don't know how many question we can address but uh, just okay. one question from my side i just want to ask sir that uh, 
in coming uh, decades, if you think about 10 years, the youngest researchers yeah. or students, what are the role of university to incline them towards research? Not only just uh, reading uh, books and just pass the exam, but how to incline them towards the research so that they can contribute really well. The, the most important thing is that they must be interested in their subject. If they are not interested in subject, and if they have come here because their friend has taken that I we want to go to in science, or the society has told them that uh, uh, you have to take a science, then I think that better they should uh, make the other alternate. Jene kaye ke apne vishay ni ane sansodhan ni a bande ni chod chhe e jyaan sudhi andar ti atma saath na thai ane e apno gol nahi kari hai tiyaan sudhi apne vikhrai la resu apne jo sarkhi if we gather the knowledge of chemistry or whatever subject we are learning, ये जो आपने properly शिक्षु अने कर्शु तो हुए मानुचो के अपनी पासे जीवन दाखला हो जाए तमारा बदान अच्छे के जे लोगों ये एक बार मनवाड़ी ने नक्की करियो के मारे मास्टर करूँ चे सारी रीते करूँ चे डेजर्टेशन करूँ चे डेजर्टेशन जे इना कोई एक पन मार्क मरवानो न थी तो पन वेकेशन समय नहीं अंदर आजू बाजू नहीं लेबोरेटरी हो मा इंडस्ट्री मा जे जगह तक मरे त्या फील्ड वर्क करे अने मरे विषय नू संसोधन अथवा तो मने जेमा रसनो विषय जे एनु काम करूँ चे तो हूँ मने लागू चो के मोटिवेशन माटे मरे के तमरे अने व्याख्यानो अपनी जरूर नथी ये लोगों बजा सेल्फ स्टार्टर ने सेल्फ मोटिवेटेड थोसे � अने पीरियोडिक टेबल नो व्यवस्थित रीते अभ्यास करी अने मार्केट मा पीरियोडिक टेबल ना अभ्यास थी सूत ही सके अने हमारी पचास करोड़ रुपया नो टर्नओवर केवल इतना थी सके ये वो करना रा दाखला जे ये आपने सोरा सीनियर सीट में थी बाहर पाई डाले अने ये लोगों खूब सारू काम करी दिया जे कलर पीएडी ने � पॉन एंटरप्रेनर तरीके विकसा जे अने खूब सुंदर काम कही रुचे इले ए जे चे विषय नो पोता नो आपनो जे अंदर नो इंटरेस्ट चे ए जो जड़वाई रे से तो मने वो लगे जे के खूब जो रस पड़ से अने मारे एक पॉन जो केमिस्ट्री वाला होई जे विद्यार्थी हो जे इले मारे खास केवन हुचे के केमिस्ट्री नो जो तमे हाथ प तो केमिस्ट्री तमारो हाथ से ये तमारी आखिर जिंदगी में क्या रे ही छोड़वानी नहीं अने आदेश ने आजे अटली बड़ी जरूर चे अपने विचार करो के चार पांच के छह के आठ महीना मटे चाइना नो इंपोर्टेड की स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल चाइना दी आवेली एंटीबायोटिक चाइना दी आवेली एंटी कैंसर ड्रग ये जो अपना म सेक्टर इने डिस्टर्ब करता कोई पर वार लगवानी नथी अने हु बेअजार ने पंदर मा यारे सेंट्रल ड्रग रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट मा अपनी इंडियन सोसाइटी ऑफ केमिस्ट एंड बायोलॉजी जेनो अजीपन प्रेसिडेंट चु इने यारे पत्रकारों साथे हु बात करतो तो यारे मैं कहियो के साउथी मोटू जोखम ये आपना मटे आत्मनिर्भरता � अपनी अंकलेश्वर नहीं फैक्टरीयों बंद थी जाए, इंटरमीडिएट नहीं फैक्टरीयों बंद थी जाए, अने चाइना नू मटेरियल आवे, तो आपना मां ये भावना क्यों नो ही क्या अपनी कंपनी होने, थोड़ों को मुंगू पड़ से, पन आपने भारत मां उत्पादन थाईली वस्तुओं लेसों ने एनाज इंटरमीडिएट थी आपने बनाऊ जेक कोई काम कर रही हूँ शे ये बद्दीज भारत नहीं फार्मास्यूटिकल कंपनियों ल्यूपिन सहित नहीं अतिरेक कितना इंटरमीडिएट में ये स्वर्ण निर्भर चे 
उत्पादन समाज ने हेल्थ प्रोडक्ट एफोर्डेबल प्राइस आप बंद नहीं थे तो आखवा मैं लगे बहुत उमदा तक है Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, now I would request our uh, honorable vice chancellor, Professor Ketan Tiwadi, sir, to give his view about this webinar. Uh, very good morning to all of you. It was an indeed nice and wonderful experience, as if we are in the regular mode of classroom of Professor Anamik Bai Shah, in which he started with. Uh, remembering junagadh darsi mehta and rajendra shukla then uh, the he has put the entire concept with uh, uh, local concept to global and uh, in his uh, blended kind of talk he has really justified the topic and i especially congratulate department of chemistry and forensic sciences to for selection of this app topic and above all selection of a a uh, wonderful speaker and we don't want to collaborate so many people at the same time and making a hodgepodge but we wanted to convey some uh, some uh, specific uh, knowledge and i'm happy to see that more than uh, 1200 registrations done uh, almost all in our fb right now 1520 1520 1520 people have been attached with us this is a joint venture of uh, student startup and innovation uh, in response with uh, chemistry department so sir has uh, put a very basic and fundamental uh, concepts of uh, and drug discovery he has nicely uh, collaborate both the different elements on a single platform first he has defined the role of academia and then very nicely He has just given a kind of uh, concept of sugar-coated pills that unfolded the, the one after another, and given a con and uh, build up a confidence also among the young researchers. I'm very happy when he mentioned this all uh, uh, facilities, infrastructures, chemicals are not sufficient for new research. We will find a way, and uh, and he has also talked about. that it requires a curiosity for invention it is also said that curiosity is the mother of invention and he has nicely mentioned um, from mansukh bhai wani and given a great tribute i really appreciate that uh, thing that he has uh, mentioned uh, mansukh bhai and then uh, chemical of universe and he has also worried about patent of indian people and uh, uh, the nice example of uh, driving seat to bogi that was a wonderful uh, uh, metaphoric of simile that uh, sir has uh, uh, embedded in a literary manner that we are neither to the driving seat nor at the bogi but how we can put our roles to both of them with coming to the middle and uh, has nicely uh, satirically and nicely emerged to the young scholars and researchers that do not complain and ever if you look at the indian culture and indian society and indian history of indian civilization we are famous from nothingness to allness zero to hero shunya me se sarjan so if you want to build up something and he has given his own examples when people are citing some other examples that becomes a big things but he has given his own examples of how he started saurashtra university with limited staff with limited students with limited resources and infrastructure and i can see the same condition here in bhaktakavi narsimeta university today also we have limited staff limited infrastructure limited resources but we as sir mentioned that we have agricultural university forensic universities there is a lots of uh, possibility of collaborations with other university and other people what uh, namik bhai has told that it requires a good connectivity of internet and zeal to do the work these are the only two things who are required for good things 
and uh, rest of the facilities it will come automatically we need not have to go behind the facilities facilities are the by product and i am especially thankful to him that he has also shown the possibility of collaborative research with arts and humanities and all given a nice examples of uh, professor ram mohan from ug college of some foreign university dealing a uh, cbc uh, cbc as pattern and how he has done this collaborative research so there is a lots of possibility if you look at the geographical condition of junagadh we have so many natural resources we have life science department we have so many things to make sit together and what he talked about the concept of tea sharing you sit together meet together have a tea and sharing this is what something which i really uh, appreciate of and i'm i was just looking at the overwhelming response of the participants in the way of comments in the way of questions even on the facebook also we have received more than 500 comments so in a way this is a fruitful lecture it has been organized in a very short span of time but in a real sense it is a national webinar because i was looking at the, the at the list, uh, list of the participations it is from all over india from delhi maharashtra kolkata hyderabad so in a way it is a in a real sense i congratulate uh, professor bapodra and the entire team for this wonderful initiation and execution only initiation is not important executions and result oriented things these are the more important and at last anavik bhai has rightly raised the point of vaccinations so it is our responsibility it is the responsibility of the academicians to think positive because we all have to now we have to set up a new new trend of uh, live life with corona and as a and, and he has also mentioned wonderful thing that if you uh, pick up the hand of chemistry chemistry will not leave your hand so with the uh, concept and not even though i am from a literature background even though it was not like not looking like that it was a chemistry lecture it was a lecture for universe with a universal appeal and the lecture having all blended kind of uh, uh, things and the examples which is very much apt and relevant to the present day life and scenario so once again i congratulate the entire conceptual framework of the program i am also uh, giving my uh, uh, message to the young researchers and students please make a note down of all such things in in that direction bhakta kavi university mehta university having some uh, limitations of resources but our heart is very open we we don't have much experts but we can have people like anamik bhai with us so collaboratively we can win the world if there is a will 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 find a way thank you very much thank you uh, vice chancellor sir for sharing your views now uh, i would ask uh, my colleague uh, dr murali lambasana to uh, say thank you to those who have actively participated and make this seminar possible dr murali lambasana uh, thank you dr kapuria uh, first of all i am grateful invitation in a very shorter period of time and for uh, providing a full length of time with research scholar faculty members and uh, uh, other uh, uh, students in a very simple easy and interesting way uh, secondly i want to thank our respected and honorable vice chancellor sir for accepting our concept or, of uh, organizing a webinar and uh, allowing us to do this activity third i am uh, thankful to our visionary head of the department dr a h bapodra uh, for his guidance and uh, constant uh, support during the entire activity uh, next i want to thank the all the staff members and my fellow colleagues dr nawal dr jasmin dr rashmi and dr om for technical support throughout this journey it is a too uh, uh, tough task to connect the members and to go through the fb lives with a poor connectivity and uh, i am happy to share that more than 1100 uh, students are registered in last two days in a very limited period of time and uh, thank thanks to all researchers in last but not least i would like to also uh, thanks the, all the researchers from across the gujarat from noida from maharashtra from bombay from pune uh, faculty members and researchers whose keen interest actually worked as a moral booster for us so 
so i thank you all and hope we'll have a next future session in a shorter period of time thank you so much anamik sir thank you so much chetan sir bapodra sir and all the listeners who are listening to us on a various online platform thank you let me congratulate to the entire team thank you so much sir thank you sir thank you thank you sir pradam and thank you sir yes anamik bhai समुद्र मंथन स्टार्ट कर